please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up, compete for the chance to be the leader of your friends. Find out how. And we'll let you know what exactly you should expect for the Sadie Hawkins dance. Today is Friday, January 22nd, 2016. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm Riley Grieve. We've been talking about it for a while now, and I'm sure that we all know that the Sadie Hawkins dance is on Friday, February 19th. But there is still some confusion about what's going on. Luckily, this morning we have Sadie's representatives Summer Reyes, Nikki Tabbitt, and Hilda Salmon on set. How are you guys this morning? We're pretty good. good. How are you, Riley? No, I'm actually pretty great. <laughs> so, the very first question is, why is the, we why are we doing the dance in the first place? Well, we were I'm a junior and they're seniors and we were talking about it and we were kind of complaining and our advisor overheard us and he was like, "Well, then just do a dance yourselves." So, I decided immediately. I was like, "Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to start on it." And then Nikki joined me and then Hilda joined me as a representative from Skills USA and we just kind of went with it and hopefully someone will carry it on, but I'm not going to be doing it next year. And so this is probably the only dance that anyone at Foothill right now is going to have for Sadie's. Wow, you know, it's a pretty daunting task, but you know, a <laughs> lot of students are wondering if the dance is going to be on campus or if it's going to be off campus somewhere. The dance is definitely going to be on campus. It'll be in the quad like, you know, normal homecoming would be, but it'll also be in the cafeteria. So there's been a lot of concerns with the weather, so we made sure we had both. So if it rains or if it's cold, there's somewhere warm to go. Plus we have backup heaters and hot chocolate will be served. Wow. You know, that's a great idea. You know, I was cold during homecoming, so I'm glad you guys had that. <laughs> so, another really important question is, what do you wear to Sadie's? Well, I mean, it's not like any other dance that you guys go to, like homecoming or prom. You don't have to dress formal or anything like that. That Friday of the dance is Twin Day, and that's our also our, that's also going to be our spirit day for that day. So whatever you and your date decide to dress as for Twin Day is what you'll dress as. It's more casual. Yeah, okay. basically. All right. So, um... I guess it makes sense, you know, to be matching. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> one of the commercials that we had on FSC News talked about a marriage booth. Can uh, one of you guys explain that a little more? Well, we went and talked to Tobler about Sadie's to see what his opinion was. And he said, well, there used to be Sadie's. We have them in the yearbooks. Why don't you take a look? So we looked at all the yearbooks, and there's a foothill tradition of a marriage booth where anyone can get married, and you have, like, a teacher marry the couple, and like the, the certificate, you get one of those and it expires at midnight, so you're not married forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not official then. <laughs> yeah, and then you okay. get rings and it's just, it's cute and you can marry anyone you want, boy, girl, who cares? <laughs> All right, okay. So, <laughs> you know, that's, it was a pretty interesting tradition to, like, to start and to keep going. Is there any other traditions that any of the viewers should expect to see at the dance? Um, the only real traditions are the marriage booth and then dressing with your partner matching them. Other than that, we have a couple of game booths. We have funnel cake. We have an actual cakewalk. We've got a DJ. We've got a prop photo booth. Um, there's ring toss, bean bags, you know, just a bunch of games to play. All the games will cost money, you know, and they have uh, Foothill Spirit Gear. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so um, next, some students might not know exactly what to do the Saturday <clears throat> after the dance. Do you guys have any advice for them? Well, I'm a simple person, so I say <laughs> just go, like, bowling or roller skating because that's a lot of fun as it is, so... I like having a lot of stuff to do, so I would say go to somewhere like Town Square or Sunset where there's different options of stuff you can do all in one place. I mean, honestly, it's like basically whatever you want to do. You live in a city that is up 24-7 and it doesn't sleep, so basically anything on the Strip. I mean, you have Shark Reef at Manila Bay, the Mom Museum at the MGM, and the High Roller, and you know, all that good stuff. All right, you know, those all sound like really fun ideas. And thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for coming. Thank thanks you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Without all, with all the talk about Sadie's, it's been nice to be able to answer everyone's questions about it. If you have any questions that you want to be answered, tweet us at FST News or leave some comment on our website, FSTNews.com. We'll be right back. You know, Maddie, I've been thinking. Me and you have been friends for a while now, and yeah. Sadie's is coming up. We hang out a lot. You don't have a date. I don't have a date, so we should just go together. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Yeah? Yeah, I've been feeling us. Feeling me? Feeling you? Feeling us. Yeah. But just friends though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nobody asked me to say these, bro. Nobody's ever gonna ask you to say these. Bro. I think, I think this is just me spitballing here. What if we go to say these? As bros? Yeah, just as bros. Bro. 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 <laughs> yeah. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Fun. But how does being in charge of the school sound? If you think that you've got what it takes to be a student body officer for the next school year, then you need to go to the mandatory workshop explaining the positions on Friday the 28th at 1.30 in the student council room, room 252. Once again, the mandatory workshop for next year's student body officers is on Friday the 28th at 1.30 in room 252. Also, if you can't resist the delicious temptation of Buffalo Wild Wings, then you are just the right kind of person to help out the choir. Foothills Choir Program is having a Buffalo Wild Wings fundraiser at B-Dubs located on East Horizon Ridge in the Vaughn's parking lot on Monday. The choir program will receive 10% of all the purchases made after the showing of the flyer on the screen, in print, or on your phone. <laughs> the flyer is available on FSTNews.com under the School News tab and on our FST News Twitter. After the break, we'll turn it over to our sports director, Zach Salisbury, with our sports update. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to GetSchool.com. What's up, Falcons? Starting at the courts today, they have a game today over at Coronado. But first, when they faced off against Durango here at the Hill, I spoke with point guard Jerome, Jerome Barding, excuse me, about how he thinks that the game went and how, what it'll take for them to make it to state. Well, we didn't start off great, um, but I think as the game progressed, especially in that fourth quarter, uh, we dug deep and uh, we kind of got ourselves back in the game. Um, I think we've got to improve our, the way we start the game, and, uh, but I think we're a young team and we'll click eventually this season. I mean, we've got to take it one step at a time, we've got to win conference, uh, we've got to start winning conference games and then hopefully win the regional tournament and then uh, focus on states, so we've just got to focus on one thing at a time. Uh, yes, you've got to believe that. Uh, I feel like in order to do that, you just always have to believe, no matter your record. As for today, the basketball teams are traveling over to Coronado for their games today. The boys' freshman team is starting at 3.30, the JV team plays at 5, and the varsity team begins at 6.30. As for the girls, the varsity team starts at 5, and the JV team begins at 6.30. Passing it from the courts to the fields, the flag football team has a game on Monday against our rival Basic here at the Hill. The JV team... JV team kicks the night off at 3.30, then the varsity team starts at 4.30, and the freshman team is the final game at 6. The wrestling team is walking with their heads held high today because they beat Basic last night. The JV team won 60-13, and the varsity team won 37-29. to 
As for their next meet, it is on Wednesday over at Green Valley from 6 to 8. Starting off regionals is bowling. Their first round regionals is on Wednesday and Thursday. The track team is already starting their intramurals. They begin on Monday and go through to Wednesday from 2 to 3.15. They, re they aren't required, but they are recommended. The trials for track are on February 29th and on March 4th. And well, that's all the news we have for you today. That's right. Thanks for tuning in for today's Friday show. Come back next week as we switch our anchors around and find out what may cause our school district to split up. But until then, have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.